when you went to creative with ideas, bro, the difference is now the ego kicks in and it's, oh, okay, bro, let me get this straight. You've got to come to us with your ideas because what are you saying? Our ideas are not good enough. Next, we have Alistair Black, similar to him. Like, you have him go through all these vignettes. And, you know, at the end of the – like, he literally came back on SmackDown last week after weeks of this Dark Father gimmick. He hits uh, um, Big E and out of left field. He actually said that out of left – this is out of left field to him. Yeah. You spend all, the, all this money and time to reinvigorate and recreate his character. And he said a lot. I, I was watching his Twitch, and he said a lot of the Dark Father gimmick. He, had, you know, he was pitching those ideas. You know, a lot to do with that type of formation of that and things like that. And so it seems like it's it, there's a part of me that that still feels that the WWE was like, yeah, we tried it. You know, what I mean, and it, it just has that type of feel to it. Like, okay, okay, we hear you. We hear you. We'll, we'll do the vignettes thing. Yeah, you know, we look at look at this rating here. You know that that quarter hour didn't get didn't do too strong uh, when you came out. We were expecting a bigger reaction when you came out and when you returned and hit Big E. I'm sorry, man, we didn't get the reaction we wanted. So yeah, sorry, we got let let you go. And he actually said on his Twitch that he got let go because of budget cuts. And it's like, I mean, you know, I hate I, I don't want anybody to lose their job, but you got. 24 7 committee you know running around like the akira tozawas and the lucha you know uh party house parties and the drew gulaks although i like drew gulak a lot but you got them running around 24 7 ville but someone like an alistair black that you spend weeks and weeks building he's worth a budget cut to me uh to, to them it doesn't make any sense chris let me tell you what has drastically changed over the years um, compared to when they used to have non-wrestling people, non-lifers write the show, meaning me and Ed Ferrara. Chris, when I wrote a wrestling show, I know, bro, I'm writing for 30 guys and gals, mm -hmm. okay? When a talent came up to me with ideas for them, bro, I received them with open arms. They made my job easier because think about it, Chris. I'm thinking about 30 people. They're just thinking about them driving in the car when their head hits the pillow at night. So when a talent would come to me, I embraced that. Bro, once we left, when you went to creative with ideas, bro, the difference is now the ego kicks in and it's, oh, okay, bro, let me get this straight. You've got to come to us with your ideas because what are you saying? Our ideas are not good enough. It's insulting to them, bro. Bro, that's all pride and ego. Wow. And when you're a guy like, and he made it clear, he kept, bro, I know another guy like that, bro, Elias did the same thing. Week after week, idea after idea after idea, bro, that's the worst thing you can do because they take that as, what are you telling us? You, we're not doing our job when it should be the complete opposite, bro. They should be thanking these guys and gals for it's all ego power nobody's going to tell us what to do nobody's going to tell us what to, what to book and it, it it's such a horrible 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 way to run a creative company chris i've said this all the time when you've got a creative individual like an alistair black okay who's coming up with all these ideas who's working on this gimmick you know he's eating he's sleeping he's drinking it bro when you take away that creativity from someone too creative bro all the money in the world is not going to make that person happy yeah, when you great. strip them of that cre they need that outlet when they don't have it bro you could pay them 10 million dollars they're going to be miserable mm -hmm. and just in reading his comments this was a very creative guy i know elias is a very creative guy we we see what has happened to him mm -hmm. And it's, 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 it's bro. Like Raven Raven used to be that guy where he, the minute I walked in the building, he was in my ear with pages and pages. And, and now I know 
how that would be received at the WWE. But to me, it's like, bro, this guy's thinking of his character nonstop. Thank you, yeah. Raven. Thank you. For sure. Yeah. Because right. people like that, you can tell, are immersed in the business. Yes. Yes. And, and it's like, you want those people yes, on the roster. Do, bro. Yeah. Because it yeah. encapsulates the viewing audience. And it makes them hooked on to the character yes. because clearly you're invested to your own character and you're not just blase and going out there to collect a paycheck. People can see right through that. Yep. As opposed to someone like an Aleister Black who's so immersed in his character and people see the, the genuineness and the authenticity yep. of this character, and that draws people. Authenticity draws people like that. And, bro, and that's the thing. You you rip the heart right out of these people. You sure do. And it's, you it, sure do. It's sad, bro. It is. I don't – I just it, – it just – I don't know. I guess I guess it's the psychology doctor in me. It's psychology doctor in me. I, I just can't see what the good – with someone with a clear conscience, how someone can have a clear conscience to say, we're going to feel a certain way when you come to me and make my job easier. There's just so much pride in that. Because, bro, they're all irreplaceable parts. For That's sure. the way they've built the system. They oh, run the everybody world, through that factory. <laughs> you yeah. do something you don't like, you're out bringing the next yeah. robot. That's what it is, bro. Yeah, that, sure that's is. the environment. Hundred percent. 